Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you are not new. Thank you for joining me today on this Friday. And whatever, wherever you are and whatever time it is, I hope that you are doing well. I hope that you had a blessed day. I hope that you had a successful day and a prosperous day. I did. Um, it wasn't a bad day. I try to, to consider any of my days bad, even though we may not have um, moments that are not as good as, you know, other times or other days or what may or what have you. Um, I just try to think positive. And that is one of the things that I'm learning to do more of. Kick out that negative stuff and put in the positive. There's no way you can go wrong doing that. I, I wake up and I, I train my mind to think positive thoughts um, throughout my day. I try to do something or say something positive. I, I, I'm a positive person, but if you don't watch it, the enemy, he'll, he'll try to throw some salt in your game and make you think, you know, differently, especially for those that he knows that they think positive or they try to do positive things or have a positive life as much as they can. He will definitely be around somewhere trying to throw salt or throw, throw dirt. He might even try to throw some water. I don't know. But you always got to be on your game. So what's up, people? What's up, my people? My YouTube family. What is up on this day? Well, again, I'm here um, at home by myself. And um, I feel like a... I don't know what I feel like. I mean, it's relatively quiet in here and um, I couldn't wait to do videos with you guys. Um, my grandbaby, I miss them when they're gone. I really do because I'm so used to being with them. I don't know what I'm going to do when my daughter moves out. Um, I guess I'll just go over their house and make noise at their house. I don't know, but I miss them when they're gone. But you know, everybody needs a break. And it's okay to admit when you need a break. It is truly okay to admit when you need a break. It has nothing to do with the fact that you don't you you don't you love less or you feel differently. Everybody needs a mental break. A mental break from work, a mental break from people, a mental break from our children, a mental break from life. And if you don't do those things, oh, it could be a terrible thing. Um, I can only imagine, um, people that don't have, if they're anything like me, I never trusted my kids being at anybody's home talking about, I'm going somewhere to party or I'm going somewhere to have some me time. I, I wasn't about that. If my mom and my sister or their grandparents couldn't watch them or didn't have them um, on that particular day or weekend or whatever, I was with my kids. I made the best of it. Just like right now, I'm a I'm an adult. I am seasoned. My kids are grown. I could do anything on this world, on this world. <laughs> I can do anything in this world on this earth that I want to do because I am free to do it. I can. It's Friday and it's about to be Friday night. You know, I could be somewhere out here partying or planning to party or planning to party the whole entire weekend, but I'm not. I'm here at home. I'm creating content for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, my party days are, I'm not going to call them over. The way that I used to party, those days are long gone. Um, it wasn't like anything rambunctious or over the top. You know, you just know what you know and you know what you know. These days, these people are not trying to party like that. People are trying to see what they can do, see how they can do the majority. I'm not going to say everybody. Um, yeah, and then talk about it the next day and oh, I, don't, I don't have time. I don't have time, so I'd rather be right here with you guys. And if you guys want to throw a party, we can party together. We just got to get it together and see where we're going to meet at. Okay. So back into this video. Um, so earlier today, you know, well, I told you, you know, you have to, you know, you have to be mindful of the enemy and 
how he tries to take you off your game. You know, I told you I was excited about um, doing these videos today because I knew I was going to be here to myself and, you know, I could do what I needed to do in reference to my videos. So, at times, you just have to wash your hands and let your children do what they're going to do because they grown. There's no more than you can do. You have to trust the fact that you've raised them right. And I trust that I've raised my children right. But there, that doesn't stop from being skeptical of the outside world. When my daughter tells me that she is going out with a friend and it's just something simple, my heart starts to do this thing. And I have to immediately shut it down. Because when she moves out, she can, she's going to do those things. So the devil, you know, like I said, you know, the devil, the devil, it's not always the devil. Let me say that. Sometimes we're being tested to see how we're, we're going to respond to things and how we're going to react to it. So when she said that to me today, I was like, okay. Even when she got dressed and she was ready to go, I said, you look nice. I said, be safe, have fun, and I'll see you when you get home. What else can I do? What else can I do that I haven't already done? I trust that I've raised her right. Does it feel good because we know how the world is? No, it doesn't feel good. But I have to trust God, just like I trust him with anything else, to bring her home safe, protect her while she's out. This is why it's so vital to pray over our children the moment they leave, and, and you know what? I pray as she's getting prepared. I pray before she gets off work. If this is meant for her to go, go. Bring her home safe, Father. Bring her home safe. One thing that I do know is that we can't stop living. We cannot stop living in this world because how people are. People have been people for as long as before you and I were both born. You know, it's just a, it's just a different time. Just a, you know, the generation is totally different. But you don't stop living. You know, I had to, I had to instill that in my own self. And I can't wait to show you just how much I'm about to start living. I will definitely. That's going to be another part of um why I built this platform to show you how you can still live life regardless of the world around us. I am. I am ready to travel. I'm ready to travel the world, um, wherever that may be. I'm I'm ready. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna allow um, the enemy to stifle me to stop me from living or to stop me from doing what God has created me to do. I'm not gonna do that. I am not gonna do that, and I hope that you don't either. If it takes one day at a time for you to come out of your comfort zone. For you to come out of your shell, then do that. Do one thing at a time. Don't be too hard on yourself, but just do it. Um, surround yourself with people that wants that want you to have good things, that want to see you elevate. That is another thing. That's another vital thing. Not everybody in the world is negative. There are some positive people around. We just have to pray about those things and pray that God will um, make it so that we will encounter these people. Um, yeah, you have to pray about it. You know, me, <laughs> I can't speak for everybody else. And you have to pray about everything that you do. I, I mean, I'm talking about everything from making content to editing to uploading to going outside the on your porch to get your Amazon package, um, hoping that you wake up with a roof over your head, you have to pray about everything. And honey, sometimes I feel like God gets tired of me, <laughs> but I know that's not true. I know it's not true. No, no, that's not true. Um, but yeah. So, I don't know what you're doing today on your Friday, but I hope whatever it is that you're treating yourself good. You're you're doing something to make you feel good, but being safe nonetheless. 
Um, I remember this guy made a, you know, he made a, a TikTok. And I want to say this before I end this video. He hit home with me because that's how I've lived my life. He said that if you make your home like you want it, you will enjoy your own company so much. Make it how you want it. Clean, clean it up. Um, if you want um, entertainment for your home, make it like you want. Entertain, make it like you want as far as entertainment. Um, put pictures on the wall. Put up new curtains. Pr bring some plants in the house. Bring whatever you need inside that house. For you to have a peaceful home. You don't have to always be out there around other people. You don't. Because if you're constantly around other people. You will never hear what you need to hear for you. You will never hear that. So you have to find some peaceful, some peace within yourself. Within your home. Make it pretty. And look. If you don't have the funds to make it pretty. Just clean it. Clean it. I like that kind of clean where you can smell that it's clean. That's the kind of clean that I like. Um, there's a difference between clean and clean. Yeah, they'll both spell the same, but there, there are differences to me. Um, I want to see my clean. I want to feel my clean. I want to know my clean. I want to know it. That alone makes me peaceful on the inside. It has, it has always been that way. Um, yeah, um, I have OCD tendencies and I'm okay with that. Um, they're not extremely bad, but I just like clean. I like neatness. It, it helps me breathe. Um, it helps me think clearer. That's one of the things that me and my daughter, we will bump heads in a minute about it because like I said, I like to smell my clean. She's clean. That's, that's, you know, again, we're different people. My clean may not be her clean. So, you know, when you're adults and when you're two females living in a house, oh, we, the whole roof can come down, you know, because I'm a neat freak and I like to, I like to be neat. I like my stuff neat. I like my junk neat. If I have a junk drawer, I need that junk drawer to be neat. You know, that's just me. And like I say, you know, make things, make things presentable for you. Make, try something new, do a new thing. Do a new thing. I like that. Do a new thing. Read a book. Read a book. There are so many books out there. If it's not a book, read a magazine, read a newspaper, do something that you don't normally do. And maybe you just, maybe you'll like it. Maybe you'll like it. Just because everybody going to the club, trying to find a party to go to, trying to drink on the weekends or trying to smoke or do it. Take a break from it. Take a break from it. It's okay. If you want to do those things at home, do them at home. Do them at home with you. Be one with yourself. And that is coming from a safe place. That is coming from a loving space. Be one with you. And also be mindful of the journey in our life, the journey that we've traveled, the roads that we've traveled, be mindful of how we travel them and what went on in our life. Be mindful. Those are the things that you should be thinking about because those are the things that at some point in time, I do believe those things are for a reason. We weren't brought here just to be brought here. We didn't go through what we went through just to go through them. We went through them for a reason. And even the ones that we put ourselves through, God still turned them out to be good. You learned something in it. I know I did. I know I did. And that's why it's so, so, so peace. It's so much peace in sharing it because I know I was meant to share it. You know? Um, no, I'm not in a church sharing it. Um, not yet. I don't know what God, I don't know what he has for me tomorrow. I don't know what he has for me the next day. But for right now, I'm doing it right here on this platform. 
I'm doing it right here. Um, that's what I said. That's what I mean that you don't always have to be a preacher in a church to share the word or share things of God or, or what have you. You don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to be there until each his own. I have no issues or, or no ill will towards anybody and how they share what they share or do what they do. None whatsoever. Again, we're different people. So I'm going to go. I think I'm ready for Max. Max has been waiting for me for hours. I have not seen Max since um, two o'clock. Again, this is Max. This is my guy. He's been calling me for the last hour since I've been doing these videos. I told him I was coming. But again, I enjoyed creating this video for you. I hope that, you know, if it wasn't meaningful, we're just, just listening to me. And I truly appreciate that. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you again for supporting me. And keep rocking with me, okay? All right, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.